This is an example problem involving heat. Human metabolic activity releases about 1.0 times 10 raised to the power of 4 kilojoules per day. There are two models for where the energy goes. We'll do them separately. The first one is raising the body temperature, uh, assuming it's 50 kilograms of water. Um, and it's an isolated system, meaning the heat does not go anywhere else. So this is equal to Q, the heat. So we know that Q is equal to the mass times the specific heat times the change in temperature. And, oh, I need the temperature, so I'm going to divide the both sides by the mass times the specific heat. And so the change in temperature is the heat, 1.0 times 10 raised to the power 4 kilojoules per day. The mass is 50 kilograms. And the specific heat for water is 4.184 joules per gram degree C. And so the change in temperature, when I use my handy dandy calculator, is 42 degrees C. Whoa, that's bad. The second part says, what if you evaporate the water? And that's all the, that the heat went to do. And so they tell us that the enthalpy of vaporization is 2.41 kilojoules per gram. So if I'm trying to figure out how much water to evaporate, I need my heat, 1.0 times 10 to the 4 kilojoules per day. And I'm going to divide this by the enthalpy of vaporization because it has grams in the denominator. That'll tell me how much water in grams will evaporate, 2.41. Uh, kilo of, oh, this is kilojoules, sorry about that, kilojoules per gram. So the kilojoules are going to vanish, and I'm going to get 4.1 times 10 raised to the power 3 grams. This is 4.1 kilograms per day. And because the density of water this is also equal to 4.1 liters of water per day. Oh, that seems like an awful lot to me. And the next question is, are either of these results realistic? Comment. Well, if our body temperature went from 37 degrees C and I add 42, it's going to be 79 degrees Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Looks like we'd be dead. So this is not a good model. And in addition, the recommendation is not 4.1 liters per day. It's more like 2 liters of water per day. And that comes from the Mayo Clinic. And so this is not realistic either. And so our metabolic energy has to be doing something other than raising our temperature or just evaporating water. 
In fact, it has to do both along with all of the other things that we need to do to keep ourselves alive, like moving and breathing and digesting and things like that.